All right, there's a good chance I might ruffle a few feathers with this video. I may make a few people angry, but sometimes these things just need to be said. I wanna talk about a side hustle that I'm quitting, a very popular side hustle that's recommended all over YouTube, and I wanna share the reasons why I'm quitting this side hustle. To show you the other side of the coin, some of the cons of this particular side hustle, and I'm gonna talk specifically about why it's not a good fit for me and why I'm quitting it. So quick background, if you're new here to this channel, my name's Adam, I'm a full-time online entrepreneur. I've tried a lot of different side hustles, okay? A, a lot. This particular one that I'm no longer participating in is one that I've done for about five or six years in multiple different iterations. I've spent the past few weeks analyzing my goals and planning out my future for my businesses in 2024 and beyond. And part of that vision is me quitting this side hustle. So what am I talking about? What am I quitting? What is the bombshell? Well, here it is. I am no longer going to sell on Etsy. And specifically what I'm talking about is Etsy print on demand. So if you're familiar with my channel, one of my main businesses is the Merch by Amazon or Merch on Demand, Print on Demand business. It's fantastic, I've been doing it for years. And Etsy is a complimentary print on demand uh, service or print on demand platform that you can sell on and I have just really been unhappy with it the past couple years. So I've got a list here of reasons and I'm gonna go through these. These are a lot of the cons of this business, a lot of the negatives or downsides that a lot of YouTubers won't share with you, but I'm gonna share them with you in this video. Now, if you're on Etsy, maybe this will open your eyes a little bit. And if you're thinking about selling on Etsy, maybe this will open your eyes a little bit. It's important to kind of know the pros and the cons. That's what I'm gonna share with you in this video. All right, so this list of cons that I have here is in no particular order, but I'm saving the best one for last. That's the one that specifically applies to me and why I am quitting selling on Etsy. All right, so let's get into it. Reason number one why I'm no longer selling on Etsy. It's the fees, the listing fees, the transaction fees, the processing fees, all the fees that are associated with the Etsy platform. In order to even list a product for sale, you have to pay Etsy 20 cents per listing. That only keeps that listing live for a few months and then you have to pay again and renew it. They also take a percentage of your transaction. There's also transaction fees when you're using things like credit cards. The fees on Etsy are just constantly changing, they're confusing, and they cut into your profit margins. Reason number two, copycats and fraudulent activity. Now, Etsy, along with many other online platforms, are no stranger to having copycats and fraudulent activity. There's always gonna be scammers and people who try and game the system. But certain platforms protect the intellectual property of sellers better than others. And I've seen this really go downhill on Etsy. There's all kinds of gimmicky shops popping up, selling clearly trademarked and copyrighted merchandise. They're sniping sales, they're copying designs, they're stealing intellectual property, and Etsy does not protect sellers very well in that aspect. It's something that's a growing problem across the industry, but Etsy, I think, is really lagging behind when it comes to enforcement, which is critical if you wanna be successful in this business and really grow. Number three is bookkeeping. Now, with Etsy, and specifically Etsy Print On Demand, you typically need to partner with a fulfillment company. Popular options out there are Printful and Printify, which is fine. Those platforms integrate with Etsy. But when it comes to bookkeeping and trying to keep that all straight on a larger scale level, the entire process makes bookkeeping a little bit more complicated than it should be. I've got one company I'm paying for the actual product itself and for the shipping of that product to the customer. And then I have another customer who's paying me a full retail price. And then I have the fees and things like that that Etsy takes. And somewhere out of all of that, hopefully I'm making a net profit. Well, on a bookkeeping scale, this is a nightmare. I always dread dealing with that at the end of the year. The bookkeeping and integration with Etsy Print On Demand is just not easy and it's not streamlined. All right, number four is the Etsy ads. I can't stand the Etsy ads. I have no real control over where these ads are shown, what kind of keywords or search terms. It's basically just like, hey, give me $5 or $10 a day, turn ads on or off, and we'll decide where we place them and when they're seen. You don't have much control over it. There's hardly any customization options. And the Etsy ad system is just really lagging behind other platforms. All right, so there are a lot of other little things that annoy me about Etsy. Everything from their thumbnails and mock-up system to their titles and tags that are required for SEO listings. There's still confusion and debate amongst all of those things, but none of them really compare to the fifth and final reason why I'm quitting Etsy. And this is it, this is the bombshell. And it's because Etsy print on demand is not passive. That's right, when you run an Etsy print on demand shop, if you have dreams of just throwing up listings and then just watching the money come in, 
That's just simply not how it works. With Etsy Print On Demand, there is still a customer service element that is going to require your time. And the more you scale and grow, the more of your time it's going to require or you're going to have to pay someone for their time to manage that system. So what I'm talking about is things like customer service messages, inquiries, you know, hey, can you put this on the back of the shirt instead of the front? Hey, do you sell this in a 3XL instead of a 2XL? Hey, I ordered Heather Gray, but instead I got Heather Navy. You're gonna get questions, you're gonna get issues, they're gonna say the shipping was behind, you're gonna have to constantly keep track of your fulfillment with your fulfillment partner. There is absolutely a customer service element. Now, can you streamline it? Can you minimize it? Yes, you can. And this goes back to why this is not a good fit for me. And it's because in 2024, I am focusing on passive businesses. Passive businesses that have a scalable opportunity that I can put in a system or a task and let it grow and then receive income, right? Or generate revenue and profits from that business without it taking my time as a relevant input, okay? So I don't wanna grow a business where the more I grow, the more I have to be a part of it. I wanna grow businesses where I can grow them big and step back and still receive the profits. Now, I will say this about Etsy. Can you make money on Etsy? Absolutely. In fact, I have some friends and colleagues in the print on demand space that run Etsy shops and do really, really well but it does take a significant portion of their time in order to be successful. All right, so there you have it. There's a list of all the reasons why I am quitting Etsy, but the most important one, and the one that I'm really trying to get across in this video, is that selling Etsy, particularly for print-on-demand apparel, is not as passive as some of the YouTubers and gurus out there would have you believe. It takes time and effort, there's customer service, you have to monitor your messages, you have to monitor your communication with your fulfillment company, you're gonna deal with things like returns and oddball requests, and if you don't respond to them, that then in turn affects your performance and visibility of your shop. So there's a whole world out there, and it's just something that I don't wanna participate in any longer. Instead, I'm gonna focus on my 2024 goals, which are things like the Amazon Influencer Program and Amazon Merch On Demand. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not an Etsy hate video. I sold on Etsy for years, and I still think that there is a lot of money to be made on that platform, but you have to be realistic, and I'm speaking to those of you who are wanting to open print-on-demand apparel shops and push them to Etsy. Be prepared for the customer service. All right, and allow me to clarify one thing. I am talking specifically about Etsy print-on-demand shops, where you're using a fulfillment company and that print-on-demand model where you're selling on Etsy, you're putting up your mock-ups and then using fulfillment to send orders to the customer. I am not talking about Etsy handmade items or Etsy custom items. In fact, that's really important because I think those are the shops that do the best on Etsy. Shops that have a true custom element, a true handmade, one-of-a-kind customization element where you can charge a premium for that service. The print-on-demand model has just gotten so competitive, so saturated, the margins are getting thinner, and the customer service just doesn't make it worth it. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's why I'm quitting Etsy. I'm no longer selling on it, but I'm not gonna end the video there. Instead, I'm gonna give you some recommendations. Now, this is honestly what I would tell my friends or family if they were interested in getting into the world of print-on-demand or wanting to start a side hustle. Here are the platforms that I would recommend. Number one, Merch by Amazon. Yes, there is an application process. It is difficult to get and not everyone is approved, but it doesn't cost anything to apply and that should be your absolute first priority is to get a Merch by Amazon account. I've got tons of videos on my channel where I talk about the benefits of print on demand. I share my business reports, my income streams, you know, my, my growth and, and history with the platform and it's absolutely fantastic. So Merch by Amazon is my number one recommendation. Number two, the platform that I recommend is Amazon KDP. Now, before you jump all over me, Amazon KDP is not an apparel print-on-demand platform. Instead, it's a book, journal, planner, activity, coloring book thing kind of platform, okay? It's paperback and hardback books, but the concepts are the same. Just like you create a design for a t-shirt or a sweater, and you put it up and it's fulfilled, it's the same, but with books. It also is free to apply, there is no waiting period, and it doesn't cost anything to list a design. It's scalable and it's passive. And the third and final platform that I recommend if you're interested in doing print on demand is going to be starting a Shopify store or your own personal blog. Now, this is probably the hardest of the three recommendations that I'm giving. It's gonna require you to build your own traffic, which takes time 
and effort or it takes a lot of money. However, if you can stay the course, if you think deep down inside you have something unique to offer, some kind of cool niche or design or appeal to a certain customer audience base, you're good at social media and you can build up a following, having your own site like a Shopify site or even your own personal blog with your apparel and merchandise is a great way to get bigger profit margins and control your final product. You control that entire system. Also, with a Shopify site or a personal blog, if it's your own brand, if it's your baby, you're gonna have a much higher vested interest into the customer service and managing that platform and dealing with the non-passive elements. All right, guys, well, hopefully this video opened your eyes a little bit to some of the pros and cons of selling print-on-demand with Etsy. I'm not saying this applies to everyone. This video is really about me and my journey and why I'm making the decision. But maybe it'll give you a second thought about where you wanna put your effort, where you wanna put your energy, because that's important. And sometimes you have to know when to quit and sometimes you have to know when to start. So if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing down below to my newsletter. There's a link in the description. And check out these videos about some of my other ways I'm making money online. Thanks for watching, see ya.